like to have our own college school rooms in 1990 that are attractive. Nice school rooms. Offices for the teachers in Lake Tavernon College in 1990 when I went. Nice offices. Offices in Arendelle School in 2019. The school teacher's office. The nice offices. When they have bookcases with a number of books in them. And the teachers have a desk. It's a nice vision. When you are in your... Gentleman Jack on, on the TV show, the lesbian from the 19th century. I think she's Yorkshire, so I'm not 100% sure of that. Um, but wherever she was from. Um, there she is in her, her office, in the upstairs of the house. Look, look, I watched the show last night. Down where sis, my brother-in-law, David's down at Chicago. And there's, there's Gentleman Jack with her waistcoat and her shirt and at the office doing her journals and things. And she's an attractive enough lady, but I thought, that's an attractive sight. Gentleman Jack in her office, doing her notes, with a library. That's an attractive sight. And Gandalf, when he's in Minas Tirith visit, the Silver City, in the archives, there he is in Lord of the Rings, and Going through the archives, it's an attractive sight, to me anyway. Being surrounded by books, and old books, and doing the scholarly studies. There's something attractive about a human person when they have their belongings with them in their home, with a library of books, and a library of other... Comics work for me as well, but CDs also, and record albums. A decent record collection, you know, up on the wall, on the shelves. 2,000 records, something very attractive about it when people are in their element with their things. There's something very attractive about that. And there's something very attractive about it when they know their stuff on their scholarly studies. The Beast knows his stuff on that quiz show was it? with the governess and Goliath and so forth. When they're in their elements, surrounded by their, their sacred tomes, their scholarly tomes, doing their thing, there's something very attractive and appealing about that to people. It's a marvellous thing is knowledge, and it's a marvellous thing to have a good education. And what I think is particularly marvellous is when there's a bunch of textbooks in your collection which you're an expert on after centuries of study. I think that's particularly marvellous. You don't need an endless library. You need some, a library which you know well, which you're an expert on, and you, you let the knowledge in that book gradually develop, and you fill your head with the more knowledge that you need, pondering what that book says. Fill in the blanks, fill in the details. Let your mind grow in knowledge on what this textbook and that textbook in your collection says. Learn that textbook, learn what it says, and then learn the fuller knowledge of that branch of knowledge. You only need so many branches. You don't need the whole tree. There's something attractive about the tree of knowledge that you've got in your collection of things. That's why you don't need it all. You don't need it all. You don't need it all. The librarian, she knows, or he knows her books, his or her books in the library, but even they've probably got their favourites. That's why for Eternal Life on Earth, this volume, volume 8, you don't need it all, going on, the last, going on from the last volume. There's something attractive, I think probably to God, though he makes up his own mind. There was something attractive about you in your room, in your element, in your den, with your books and your treasures, your globe, good idea, or your little, little rubbing stone, uh, 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 a paperweight, a 
one of those glass through paperweights or rubbing stone or there's something attractive about you when you've got your academia together in your little world there's a thrill in it and I think as you get older there's probably more of a thrill when you know your stuff even a dullard if they keep their books and learns them slowly becomes attractive in time That's why offices, to me, are very attractive. Where people have their... You see them on the videos and on the university shows and things and when they're lecturing or in their office, you know. Their bookcases behind them with all their tomes. When they know this stuff after a number of centuries of life as it goes on. Very attractive. Living forever on Earth is worth it for keep getting your stuff together until you've got the right amount that thing which is very attractive when you know your stuff and there's a thrill in it when you know your stuff because as proverbs teach you're delighting your wisdom <laughs>